Today, Sixers, we are ordering, according to the Chicago Tribune, the best wings in the city. This is gonna be Bird's Nest hot sauce flavored wings. Let's call them. And also, it's a dollar extra to, to order them. to order carry out. <laughs> Smart. No, it's dumb. Hi, can I place an order for carry out? No problem. Can I get your uh, phone number? 313. Alright, I can't get your first and last name as well. Sean, S E A N, Ely, E L Y. Alright, well, I can't get it for you. Can I get an order of the 10 uh, Bird's Nest hot sauce wings? Alright, it's gonna be 1350. It should be about uh, 20 minutes. Okay. Pick Perfect, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? You want some wings, man? <laughs> what the? Alright, here we go to Bird's Nest to pick up 10 wings for 1350. <laughs> Wee! Corey is very into this. Yeah, it's a, He's a car guy. It's a fly ride, dude. Fly ride? Yeah, bro. Original interior, too. Look at that steering wheel and all that, dog. Oh, whoa. Hey, real quick. Oh, I thought you can't. Oh, you just can't see it. <laughs> just so I can say it on camera now. This beautiful patio in the summer months of Chicago. I'm gonna miss patio season. I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it. All right, Rob G, another recommendation. Bird's Nest, I've actually been here before, I love it. Used to come here all the time before softball games. Past this, because I remember the high bird. Yeah, so here we are at the corner of, what is this, Altgeld and Southport? Yep, all right, let's do this. One order of Bird's Nest. Traditional hot sauce wings, best in the city, Chicago Tribune, acquired jump cut. So in doing the show in Chicago, a lot of different people have suggested a lot of different wing places. This is a spot I've been to, I love it. Corey's never been here, and our top patron, Rob G, said you gotta go to Bird's Nest, so we're finally doing it. We're doing it, baby, we're doing it. So let's see how the packaging is, let's see how they put this together. The best wings in the city, the Trib. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's open her up and see what we got. Ooh, celery, trash, trash, trash. Wings. Um, you can kind of even through the sauce see that they're crispy. You can tell that the skin is like fried up real well without even, um, sometimes the sauce covers up so much you can't tell, but you can definitely tell that on these. You see in the red sauce, what we got is the bird's nest hot sauce. That's so kind of their signature sauce. And um, you're also seeing some sprinklings of herbs on there. So uh, all in all, it's looking pretty good. I like the fact that we're seeing a lot of drummies too. I don't know if they even it out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drummies um, out of the 10. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm a big drum guy over the, I mean, it's just less work, you know? Yeah. But all in all, it's looking really good. Haven't had these in like a year. I'm excited. Nice. I remember being a big fan. A lot of good flavors. I got a bunch. I, got, I think like six, seven, eight different flavors. So here on the big camera, you can kind of see a drumstick with the hot sauce from Bird's Nest on there. Just how juicy and delicious that looks. Let us know in the comments, Chicago people, if you've had these, if you think they are the best. Bird's Nest, hot sauce on the wings. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. This is really good. Mm. Fried to perfection. Fried to perfection. Falls off the bone in a good way. It's just like a really good traditional buffalo wing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like the sauce itself is like the most insane thing. It just does the niche really well. You're watching football and you want wings. This would fulfill that to the to the nines, dude. Yep, that's true. Like you don't really need need to go over the top for the sauce if you do the wings as well as these are done. Right, you gotta you know? cook the meat right. Yep. Yeah, this is really good. They're terrific. We used to play softball. I want to say on Wednesdays or Thursdays, and three of us would meet up. Like we got to work. I had a couple friends that worked from home. We would meet up there at like three o'clock on a Thursday and eat and drink for like four hours before our games. Oh, nice! It was like our one day a week. We just went nuts with it. Yeah, and it was so much fun having friends who were just like made their own schedules. Right. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've just had a really good relationship with that bar. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I've had a really good relationship with these wings. Look at it glistening in the sun. 
You know, traditional are pain in the A. They're dumb. They're stupid. It's so much easier. I'm just a lazy dude. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier to eat boneless. The only reason I'm excited about these is to not hear all the whiny babies in the comments section. Yeah, you, you know, it's not even really. It's a nugget. It's a chicken nugget. <laughs> like, who are you? Okay, it's a chicken nugget. All right, buddy. If he <laughs> likes it, he likes it, you know? Yeah. I like both a lot. For the show, boneless is way easier. When you're doing a bunch of hot sauce videos, oh, it's so much easier. You can just stick a fork in there and enjoy the sauce that way. This is, We're in a car and we're eating traditional wings, and he's got to drive after this. Right. So, like, to each their own, dude. If he doesn't like Not tomatoes, he doesn't like tomatoes. People are so like, if you don't <sighs> like the thing I like, that angers me. Yeah. We need less of that in this world. If somebody does something that doesn't affect the other people, doesn't hurt anybody else, just let that person like that thing. Oh, we got. Oh, I'm decimated. But you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm also trying to tie these wings into a, a bigger story here. You know what? Because you know what Sean's about, besides talking to the third person? Glass three quarters full. Exactly. 75% of that glass is full milk. of milk. Good old milk. Keeps the bones strong. I am super psyched that you like these, though. Oh, they're very good. I know that you like boneless better, but I was hoping you were going to really like these. They're very, very good. I don't know if I can say they're the best in the city, only because of crisp. Oh my god, oh you, man. This yeah. is really good. Get out of here, dude. I get you. It's, there's definitely an argument. There's definitely an argument. This is probably top three that I've ever had in my life. So that's good. I'm glad that's, I'm yeah. glad you think that. These are very, very, very good. Oh, so Rob's going to be psyched you like him. I mean, he hasn't steered us wrong yet. No, he, every single suggestion he's given has been top notch. Yep. A yeah, well, man knows. Going. I thought I was going to have to stop after a couple wings, but. I did too. They're just so good. Mm -hmm. It's also the type of hot sauce that you want to keep eating. Because you're like, I'm already hot. Let's just keep piling it in. Yeah. Let's get them done. Mm -hmm. It has a decent kick too. It's, it's not too strong. Like the blazing where you're just like, no yeah, that's flavor, all pain. Like, no, this is great flavor. Like, I think this is like the perfect type of heat for me. I agree. Because after four of those, I'm feeling you're it. But feeling the first it. one, you're kind of like, that's a good flavor. I'm not really feeling it yet. By the second, third, you're like, okay, here we go. Yeah. We're piling it on. We're having fun. And I'm feeling it. And in not a, a horrific way. Oh, right. Like feeling it in like the best way possible, you know? I agree. This YouTube channel cre creates great things for us. Yep. I'm positive right now. Yep. <laughs> Weird thing to do. She wings my car. He was straight up in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's a good wings. No need for ranch. No need for blue no, cheese. No, honestly, I don't want to ruin those with. Any I'm sauce. telling you right now. I know a lot of people think it accents it. If wings are good, you don't need. I don't want to ruin That's the true. sauce. The sauce and the friedness should do the trick. It's like people who do barbecue and then dip it in barbecue sauce. Texas style barbecue should just. You don't need it. Right. That's I think that's point. how wings should be too. I totally agree, dude. And I used to, I don't think I would have said that before. You know, I don't think 20 minutes ago, I think I would have been like, nah, I don't know, ranch. Right. But I now having those, it's like, no, nah, when you have them really good, you just don't need it. I agree, 100%. Oh, he's got an automatic start on there. It's sad. Do we have to have him sign a waiver? All right, before we rate those bird's nest wings here today, Corey, let's do some shout outs because I know lube up the throat, lube up the throat. Ah. <sighs> Hydrated. Shirt down, shirt down, shirt down. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. See my shirt? Sure, I'll have a drink. And so many other shirts are available in the store. We got koozies, we got uh, stickers, and we got sunglasses. Oh. Shirt shout out number one, and in this case, it's not a shirt shout out. It's really just a merch shout out. Yep. Kian Hassigan. Oh, what a great name. Got both a koozie and stickers from number 6 with cheese.com. Kian, and you've been to where he's from? Yeah, he's from Sydney, Nebraska. Believe it or not, Kian, I've gotten drunk. They have a steakhouse there oh. that's also, I think, the bar that people drink at. Oh, I've <laughs> been to their Oktoberfest, and within being in uh, Sydney, Nebraska's Oktoberfest, for five minutes, I talked myself into being one of the guys that served beer. <laughs> and I called the group of people who are from there that I was with, and I was like, uh, hey, if you guys want free beer, I I'm that story. serving beer here now. Yes. And they're like, what? I'm like, I swear to God, come up to the beer. I'm like, what do you guys want? I mean, it's, that's the most Corey Wagner thing there yep, is. That's the headquarters for Cabela's. Oh. He has, whoever Kean is, he probably, probably half not. half the town has family or they in themselves work for uh, Cabela's. Oh wow! It's the majority of that that place. Kean, thank you. And then the next shout out is a huge and special, special, very very dear to my heart to my aunt Ginny and uncle Paul Ringel. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not my real aunt and uncle, my mom's best friend. When my mom was sick. Uh, we went and lived with Aunt Jenny and Uncle Paul. They let, um, I thought about this now in my later years. Imagine you are uh, like, you know, you're dating Allie, right? Right. Imagine Allie goes like this. Hey, um, my friend just had a kid and she's moving to Chicago. Can, can we just have them live in our apartment? 
right. for like a year, and you guys just have a girl and a kid. Living with us. Living with you, you got a little baby running around, and you don't have the room for it. My bedroom was a walk-in closet, oh. so you don't even have room for it. You're just there hanging out. We're learning so much about you in this shirt shout out. Right, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Uncle Paul, me checking out that car, that's a big part of Uncle Paul, is a big car guy, got me that. Uncle Paul, I love you. he's been sick for a little while, everybody send their prayers out for Uncle Paul. He's Thinking about you, Paul. gosh darn hero, one of my first father figures in my life, and introduced me to Three Stooges, a big part of my comedy upbringing. Jump cut shirt, and sure I'll have a drink shirt. Ooh, I love you guys so much, Auntie and Uncle Paul. Hopefully, I hope I see you guys at the uh, wedding. Yeah, and if you uh, wanna be like them, order this shirt, because you'll also be like me, because I'm wearing it. Yep. All right, guys, number six with cheese.com, get it. But right now, let's get to those wings. Bird's Nest, Chicago Tribune calls them the best in the city. Out of five, Foghorn Leghorns. How many Foghorn Leghorns do you give the Bird's Nest hot sauced wings from Bird's Nest, Corey. Man, I'll tell you what, I can absolutely see why the Tribune chose that place as the top place for, for wings. Those wings could not have been cooked more to perfection than they were. I mean, that was seriously, you could have taken all the sauce on there and I think every bite would have been absolutely delicious. And then on top of that, that sauce, the uh, Bird's Nest hot sauce that we had, the flavor was perfect. The heat was perfect. You guys heard us talking about it in the video. That's just one of the best wings I've ever had in my life by far. That is a five. Absolutely, no question about it. I'm excited. I was really worried that the traditional thing was gonna throw you off your kilter a little bit, and uh, it did not. So, right when I'm gonna give my score, this giant truck comes out. Yeah. But it's not gonna affect me, because that's five foghorn leghorns. They just couldn't be better. They For really bar couldn't. wings, I mean, that's what bar wings are trying to be. And there's a reason why it's all over the branding and everything they do. Go to Bird's Nest if you wanna watch a game, have a cold one, shoot some pool, have it's some fun with some friends. It's a great atmosphere, It's too. just the old, it's the dark Chicago bar. They have a great patio out front. Bird's Nest, thanks for the wings. Rob G, thanks for the wreck. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of the show. Yeah, dude. Excited. Me too. I used to bartend at that bar right there. Used to come visit me. Yep.